Holy cow, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Whoa, this is huge. Hey everybody, this is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report. And for the next few days, all I'm gonna be doing is looking for an Eastern king snake. I have spent so many months here in Georgia hoping to see one of these amazing animals. Somehow, it still has not happened yet, but we are about to change that right now. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hey, hey, check this out, hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, it's okay. Look at this, this is amazing. Holy cow, hang on. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is an adult glass lizard. Whoa, what a cool species. Hang on, let me get some better filming light. Okay, now glass lizards are an amazing species for so many different reasons. One thing, obviously, they don't have any legs. That's right, these are legless lizards not snakes, totally different thing. This was not what I set out to find today, but what an absolutely gorgeous little reptile. This one has some incredible blue dorsal coloration and a really bright yellow belly. It is truly stunning. Still not an Eastern king snake, but progress is being made. We do have a reptile and a legless reptile at that, just not a snake. I won't talk too much about him right now because I am featuring glass lizards in their own episode of The Wild Report. But all you need to know right now is that this is hopefully a sign of king snakes to come. Okay, you guys, look at this right here. This is actually the first, can you check and see if I'm in? Yeah. This is actually the very first Eastern rat snake that I have seen this season. Again, not a king snake, but still a beautiful find. And you can see this rat snake is very chill right now. He's still probably pretty cool in the early morning. Hang on, it's okay, buddy. So rat snakes, typically in the wild, they'll do this thing. You touch them for the first time, they, they'll wanna sniff you, they'll wanna make sure you're not a threat. But as soon as they don't feel threatened by you anymore, they usually calm down pretty good. This is definitely a juvenile eastern rat snake. I would say he's probably about two years old. He's not big enough to be considered fully grown, not even close, but he is probably just old enough this year to start mating. Yellow rat snakes are often going to be observed during this month, traveling above ground, either on the ground or in the trees, seeking out mates. And this is one of the times of year when they are the most visible. Because during the hotter months of the summer, our rat snakes will be up in the tops of the trees, kind of getting away from the heat of the ground. Now I love yellow rat snakes because they're so variable in coloration. This one is actually more of a greenish yellow than a straight up yellow. And it reminds me a lot of the rat snakes we get on the coast of North Carolina. But they're so beautiful, they're so calm, really easy snakes to catch in the wild. And they are non-venomous constrictors that primarily feed on rodents. So there's no reason to be scared of these amazing little snakes. What a cute little reptile to find on our king snake hunt. We will put him right back in the wild and continue searching for our target. All right, our little friend was crossing this direction. So here is right where we'll set him down. Bye friend. Now king snakes are a highly fossorial species meaning they spend the majority of their lives underground or undercover. Which means to find one, we're gonna look under basically everything. Even though there's a ton of cover at this site, I think there's just too thick of an understory. This forest really needs a burn to be good king snake habitat. So let's move to a new spot where there's a little bit better habitat and see what we can find. Just a few hours after switching locations and 999 flipped objects later, I saw some glistening scales in the underbrush and knew that my mission was finally complete. Holy cow, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Whoa, is this even in frame? Holy cow, look at this. This is huge. This is my very first Georgia Eastern King Snake. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, how lucky. This is the Eastern King Snake, one of my absolute favorite snakes in the whole entire world. And this one is just absolutely huge. I've only maybe seen one other King Snake in the wild that even came as close to being as big as this one. And this is such a pretty individual. You can see those jet black dorsal scales mixed with this kind of white or yellow banding pattern. And that is a dead giveaway that you were looking at a King Snake. Now they are called King Snakes of course, because they are known to eat other snakes. In fact, that is their preferred food source. They can eat non-venomous snakes, but 
they can also feed on venomous snakes because our king snakes, they actually have an immunity to pit viper venom. They have enzymes in their blood that can attack and break down the harmful venom compounds before they can harm the king snake. So they are capable of feeding on copperheads, cottonmouths, and rattlesnakes, which are all snakes that pretty much nothing else can eat. Even though eastern king snakes rarely exceed six feet in length, they are incredibly powerful constrictors due to their superior coiling techniques. Pound for pound, our eastern king snakes are actually the strongest constrictors on the planet. They truly are deserving of their royal title. So king snakes are so important to our ecosystems because they really are the kings of the snake world. They're like apex predators of the snake world. There are no other snakes that can eat these and because they're immune to venom and because they are incredibly powerful constrictors, they are able to eat pretty much any other snake that they want. All right, everyone, this has been a spectacular animal encounter. I could not be happier to find this. I was getting worried I would not see a king snake before I left Georgia and I couldn't ask for a better snake to work with. And I think it's time to get it back in the wild. And so we'll sit it down right over here where we found it. Bye, friend. Thanks so much for joining me on today's adventure. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.